Hi, this video is about the Caribou Mathematics Contest. I'm going to show the solution for the April 2014 Grade 3-4 Contest Question 12, which also came up in the Grade 5-6 Contest. So the question is, in the following puzzle, identical letters stand for identical digits and different letters for different digits. For example, AB is a two-digit number. Determine the value of the letters such that all three horizontal computations and all three vertical calculations are correct. Which of the following statements is correct? Okay, now let's look right here. So every single letter stands for a digit. So for example, A could stand for 3, B could stand for 5, C for 8, and so on. So here, when we have letters beside each other, for example, ACB, we know that this must be a three-digit number because there are three letters beside each other. And this could be, for example, 234. And now, if we have a number which has two of the same digits, like, for example, here, AA, those two, di those two digits must be the same. So, for example, it could be 22 or 33 and so on. So we have six equations in total. We have three here, and we have three going down. So what our strategy is will be to just look for an equation with the fewest letters. And that will be this equation right here, since it only has one letter, a. So we have a divided by a is equal to a. Well, any number divided by itself must equal to one. So when we have that equals to a, we know that must equal to 1, we know that a must equal to 1. Okay, now let's look for an equation with only one extra letter other than a. And that will be this equation right here, because that only has the extra letter d. So we have a a, which we know is... One, a is 1, so 1, 1, which is 11. 11 plus 1 is equal to 12, which means that D would equal to 2. Okay, now let's look for another equation with only one extra letter other than A and D. And that would be this one right here, because the only extra letter is B. So we have... 1 and b, so we have a two-digit number, minus 1, which is equal to 12, because we know d is 2. So we have 12 plus 1 is equal to 13, so that means that 1, 3, b must equal to 3. So we already have the values for a, b, and d, so all we have to find out now is the value for the letter c. So now let's look at this equation here because we already know A and D. So we know A is 1, D is 2, so we have 12 times 12, which is equal to 144, and that means that C must equal to 4. Okay, so now we have all the values for all the letters. Now let's look at the possible answers. First we have a is 0, but that is false because we know a is 1. Then we have a is 2, and that is also false because we know a is 1. Then the next one is b is 2, well that is false, we know b is equal to 3. The next one is d equals to 3, well that is false, we know d is equal to 2. The next one is d equals 4, that's also false because we know d is equal to 2. Then the next one is c is equal to 4. This is true. We know that c is equal to 4. And the next one says c, c is equal to 5. That is false. We know c is equal to 4. So the answer is f, c equals to 4. If you'd like to know more about this contest, please feel free to visit our website at carewoodtest.com.